when, when this is all over and done with, I will literally be able to leap out of bed. That would be fantastic. It's 2012, and 42 men and women are about to take part in one of the world's most ambitious medical trials. See you later. A search for a cure for Parkinson's. Okay. We're asking people to have experimental brain surgery. So we're going right posterior. Yeah. We're asking people to have an experimental device inserted into their heads. We're going to drive the needles in, okay? That's fine. We're asking people to have an experimental drug. We could do great harm here, and we could genuinely make people worse than they are before they started. For the last six years, cameras have been given unprecedented access to film a clinical trial from start to finish. A world first look behind the scenes of what it takes to get a new drug to market. From the scientists who believe they have a breakthrough drug for Parkinson's. I know the drug works. It's a matter of how do you get it in the right dose, in the right place, at the right time. To the volunteers who put their lives on the line for medical science. This chance doesn't come along to many people. To be part of a trial that could truly shift medicine. It's a double-blind placebo-controlled trial, where only half get the real drug and half just a placebo. No one knows who's getting what. Go. Not even the doctors. To have a huge operation like that and then have to have a placebo, is that human? Not really, is it? Why do we do it? We want to live longer. That's the truth. For some, there are remarkable transformations. It was like a bloody miracle. Look at my hands, you know, they're just... Look at that. For others, disappointment and setback. I felt something as I went in. It felt like a vessel. Do you know what? I hope he's not on the drug. I thought I was going to die. If this is as good as it gets, I'd be pissed off. Could this be the miracle drug millions of Parkinson's sufferers worldwide have been waiting for? See it on the other side. Tom Isaacs, now 44, was 27 years old when he was diagnosed with Parkinson's, a disease of the brain that affects his ability to move. It's the world's second most common neurodegenerative condition, 